Huffin' and puffin', sucking on your blueberry muffin. Let's get it going. It's time for that stuff. And baby boys, baby girls, uh, walk one. Sip, sip to the gang. Mmm, mmm. It's hot. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's a social production. We're doing it on June the 5th, 2024. Hurrah. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Bomba Clad, the Betty boys and Betty girls gathering with that global syndicate, man, doing it big in the. Wagwan, everyone. What you doing here? You're checking out the show one more time. Where can you find these videos, man? You can find them on Instagram, on the YouTube. Subscribe on the YouTube channel to get the full length videos, y'all. Check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadry. Everything Irie. Everything Irie. Boys and girls, ladies and gents. Where can you find them videos? Where can you find them videos? Wherever your little heart desires, that's where you can find these videos. Where can I find these videos? Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Where can I find these videos? Oh, Mr. Mr. Thank you for the video. Where can I find it? Where can I get more of these videos, man? Where can I get some of these videos, man? Where can I get it? Is there anywhere I can get it chopped up, man? Is there anywhere I can get it chopped up? And is there anywhere I can buy them in full bricks, man? Cause I like them videos on full break. You know what I'm talking about, man? Hello. What I got? That's a little bit of this. We're that's what we're doing. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Wherever you are, you're tuning in from Canada. Hello to me, familia. Down south in the United States, as per usual. Further down south, Mexico, of course. Over there, South America. Over there, in Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Papua New Guinea. Where am I guineas at? That's what it is. We're gonna keep it loose today because it's June the 5th, man. And if you tune in, if it's your first time, you're wondering what's going on. This show's all over the place, man. It shows all over the place. Talk about everything and nothing. No particular agendas. No particular schedules or schedules. However he likes it. Talk about nothing and everything. But let's get a start. You're like, Wagwan, man, what's with the accent? Why you got to come in here and do the max sense, man? Sometimes you roll up with the max sense and I don't know. It's just what it is, baby. But it's not just what it is, because if, if you've been with me from the get-go, sending all the love right back to you, you know who you are. Join us. Join us. Just like, there's so many things. You can subscribe to this channel as well. Help your boy. Help yourself out. Help your titties lactate. That's right. You got an innie? You got an innie? You got a, your belly button? You want to you wanna get an Audi? Subscribe. You want to, you want extra long eyelashes? You want eyelashes that'll make a Middle Eastern camel jealous? Subscribe. No big deal. Free of charge. Sips up to the gang. She know that. She know. She know what, mate. She know what. The thing with the accents, you see, is sometimes you you sleep. Sometimes you see, you see what you got to do. First of all, you got to fall asleep. Is what you got to do first. Is that's what you got to do. But before you fall asleep, you might make yourself a little tea. Pour a little milk in your tea. Have a little tea. Have a little nightcap before you go catch some Z's. Yeah. And that's what happens. Sometimes you gotta get tired. You gotta get tired and then you gotta go to sleep. You gotta go back. You got your knickers on, you got your panties on, you take them off, you go to sleep. You do, we wake up in the morning, hard as a rock, and you wake up with a different accent. And that's called foreign accent syndrome, that's what happens. Well, you just mind your own business, mate. Mind your own business, mate, that's what you're doing. You mind your own business, you go to sleep, you wake up, and you find yourself speaking like a beautiful Chinese man. How did that happen? It's called foreign accent syndrome. Apparently, it's a syndrome, amongst other things that you didn't know you could potentially be catching out there. Foreign accent syndrome is one of them, which is beautiful. I believe a woman in the UK woke up with a different accent. And everybody's like, whoa there, Betty. I don't know if Betty's her real name. Nonetheless, the story's true. 
Somewhere in the east, she woke up with a different dialect and different accent. And all of a sudden, everybody was like, oh, have you been coming up with the Fugazi accent from the get-go? Is this your real accent or is this the Fugazi accent? And is the, what's going on there, Becky? What's going on there, Linda? Oh, it's, oh, it's more real accent, say. Eh? We'll always talk like this. That's what you could do. You could just go to bed one evening, wake up the next day with a different accent. And that's beautiful, man. I don't know what it is. It's like a neurological disorder, but it's it's actually pretty lit. I don't know why we are so, you know, we're, we're so trigger happy. We like to just call everything a syndrome. Anything that's out of this, we got this rigid box that we like to put people in. As soon as somebody diverts on the box, now nah, somebody starts to, you know, somebody starts to undo the box and they start picking their little beady eyes out of the box. Look at that! All of a sudden, everybody's like, "What? What's going well, walk one?" Is what they say. Walk one, indeed. Mi amigos, muchachos, thank you very much. What's going on with the foreign accent? Tri it's not a syndrome. It's a blessing. You just literally. Many people work on accents. Many people. Some people can't lose an accent. Some people, so if you went to bed and you woke up with a different accent, that is not a syndrome, that is not a disease, that's a gift. So blessed be the child with them accents, yeah? Everything iry. But the point is that this is beautiful, it's not a syndrome. I just want you to forget your name, lady. You're in the UK somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Don't look at it as a I think she already has a good sense of thing. I think she's got a good head on her shoulders. I think she already appreciates what's going on here. Use it to your advantage. Move to a new town. Just merge with the people. Start speaking like the locales. Just blend in. Start to, you know, talk about how other people, it's, it's gonna be nice. Talk about others with, you know, talk about people from wherever else with a different accent, with your new homies and your new town. That's beautiful. But then if you lose the accent, move back. That's the beauty of it. You never know. Okay. And all I'm saying is, this is fantastic. I recommend this for everybody. I don't know how she got it. Uh, I would suggest a light, you know, a little bit of, you know, put a helmet on and smash your head against the wall a few times. If that doesn't work, well, I don't know what to tell you, but try it anyway. Stick what while you're while you're driving, stick your head out the window, and if you know. Ideally in like a scenic route near the countryside where there's nobody or look for you know There's nothing to see nothing to see nothing to see and then stick your head out wham get hit in the face with a tree branch Next thing you know catching some Z's waking up with a foreign accent, which is fucking beautiful man. So enjoy it But uh, that's that's just two, that's just 2024. That's just recent who knows what holds uh, What's holding out there for for all of us me and you you and I, all of us out there. So you could wake up, man. If I, if this, if this could be applied to foreign accents, if it could be, I would like other foreign attributes. I'll tell you this. If I could wake up with a foreign cock syndrome, oh man. If I could wake up with a nice African, nice, nice Jamaican hog, just like, you know, and you're like, what about the, what about the coloring? Uh, so it's mismatched now. I don't care. I, don't, I honestly don't care if everything else is this color, but I got like a, I got like a, you know, eight inch black dick, foreign cock syndrome. I will sign up. I don't know. I'm trying again. I myself am putting on a helmet and smashing my head into the cup. You know, I'll, I'll do it. I will, I will go to a, I will go to a race horsing event and I will, you know, I'll just lay on the floor and let those bad boys just Run a run a muck over this noggin right here. See if I can get a cock that's slightly bigger than my own, which is nice. So I I'll sign. You know, I'm putting it into the ether. I'm signing up for that. You know, foreign cock syndrome. If I, I'll take one that's you know. If, if ideally, it'd be nice to just. I I do like, I do like blending. So if if it were to be just a huge cock, but with my skin tone, that would be nice. But I'm not going to be picky. I'm not going to be picky just like I wasn't picky when it came to choosing the color of my car. Just because the pandy schmandy had a lot to do with that disrupting deliveries and, you know, the produce and products getting to, you know, getting to places from overseas tickets. So I don't, you know, I get it. If there's like a, if there's a, 
there's a back order if somebody canceled a huge seven and a half, eight, nine and a half inch cack, same skin tone, or if I don't care if it's purple, dude, I'll go, I'm, I'm flexible with color. You know me, I don't even see color. I actually do see color. I'm actually really good at seeing color. God. But, but, but what's red to me is not necessarily red to you anyway. So it doesn't even matter as long as I'm happy with the size. I think we can all come to a conclusion that color here in this instance is just, it's just what it is. If it happens to be matching, that's the cherry on top again. If it's black, I don't care. I'll love it. It's mine now. It's mine now, dude. Eight and a half inches. Fern cock syndrome. Let's get that going. Or I would love to just wake up, do a map like a little, just a, just a, just a beautiful Asian university student who's cracking the physics. I will, if I could wake up with numbers in my head, just fucking two to the power of three or four divided by seven carry the eight. Yes, pie charts. If I could do that, man, oh man, bring that along. Again, I am taking initiative. I don't leave it to chance. Head getting stomped on. I'm going to, I'm going to friggin bull riding shows and just riding bulls without a helmet and not even holding on to the bull. I'll fucking get on the, I'll get on the ground. I'll get on the ground and watch the bull just stomp his little cute little hooves over my head and it's worth it because you never know what kind of gift life's going to gift you. Man, if I wake up salsa dancing like a beautiful South American, just cha 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 where is it? Where is hips, man? Cha 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 No hips. All, all, all torso, all upper torso. How does he do it? I don't know, he never had it before, but now he's got a god. If I could wake up like a beautiful, you know, just a, just a beautiful, I don't know. If I could, if I could wake up like a, oh, like a French chef, just, you know, concocting stuff in the kitchen, just out of the whim, just, oh, what is, what's he doing? Mixing all sorts of, oh, what is this pork beef? Is it pulled? Is it pushed? What is it? What's the sauce? It's gravy. Is it though? If I just, you know, if I could wake up, if I could wake up and be a Brazilian NASCAR driver, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Tight angles, not a problem. Skirt, skirt. Foreign driver syndrome, let's get it going. I don't know what I'm talking about, but all I'm saying, the world is, is it's our oyster. And oyster is one of nature's aphrodisiacs, which is good for the sexual, I think. So, slurp, slurp to the gang, and here's to a world of possibilities. Who knows what's what's waiting for us on the horizon. Lady, congratulations. Fellas, also congratulations. Everybody, congratulations. Animals, dogs, congratulations, man, cats. Let's go, monkeys, hello. Extraterrestrials, just terrestrials. Deficit terrestrials. Sips up to the gang. I'll tell you this. A couple of things have been happening to me recently in the past, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll say within, within the past four or five days. A couple of things have been happening. It's just one of those instances where life is either glitching on you or, or, or the fabric time is just time space is just bending and stretching and repeat. It is weird because I've had instances of replication happen within the past, again, four to five days, and I don't know what to make of it. I could just take it as happenstance, and I will, but for the sake of this podcast, we're gonna say, what the fuck is going on here, man? That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do, man, because what the fuck is going on indeed? But everything Irie, don't worry. Be happy. I'll start off with this, and I'm not gonna, here we're all about anonymity. If we hear a story, if we see a story, and we know that we, you want your identity kept sealed, maybe you didn't, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, because that's the way we operate, we, things are operating at high levels, high octane. I don't even know what that means, but it's up there. Met a beautiful fella, I heard a story, which I've heard in the past, which has happened before. I'm gonna name this, I'm, well, let's, let's call this beautiful fellow Paul. Let's call him Paul, all right? Just for, the, just for keeping everyone's anonymity, anonymous. So Paul, I met a fella, and this story resembles a story that I had witnessed, that I had you know, encountered a few, I don't even know when, because time is just, 
ever since the podcast got going, man, time is just, what even is time? What, is, what, 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 uh, what how many hours is it? What, what day is today? What month are we in? What year is it? It's all linear? No, it's not. No, it's not, because we bent that shit. We bent it like a nice bent cack. Got a nice curvature to it, don't it? Hangs to the left, let's go. But all I'm talking about is currencies that are very similar and you're like, man, am I hearing this? What is going on here, man? I'm talking about Paul and his cousin, his cousin and Paul. Paul and his cousin got in a little scrap. And it's cray cray because Paul got smashed in the head with a bomb by his cousin. His cousin grabbed a friend's bomb. They got in a little scuffle. They got in a little scrap. And Paul's cousin grabbed a bomb and smashed it over his head, man. He ended up with three stitches or staples or staples. He got three staples in his head. And, I've, and I met another fella a little while ago. I met another, and I'm just wondering, because I meet a lot of people. I go about my days and my mind's occupied like many of your minds with thoughts and all that stuff. So it's hard to keep up with all the so many faces and the names and the stories sometimes. Especially if they're very close and similar. But I'm like, man, no way. Because I heard this story before, man. It sounds very familiar. But it happened again. It happened again. So Paul got into And that's what it is, man. But what I want to say is that this indicates that Family feud is alive and kicking, of course, and it, it lives within all of us. Each and every one of us can definitely relate to this in some varying degrees. Because family is love. Family is love. Family is close. Family cares for each other. But family sometimes could be, could be a little bit in different ways. Could get, things could get heated. Because you love each other. You care about each other. You're comfortable with each other. So you say things. You do things. You get in each other's space. You get out of each other's space. You say certain things. You don't say certain things. You touch it. You don't touch it. You leave it alone. You're not paying enough attention. Well, that's family. It's not ever perfect, but it's perfect for all of us, ain't it? And we love them. We love them to death. But that's what it is. And sometimes with family, when you're close, you might butt heads. You might just go there and just butt heads and... Sometimes somebody might see a, you know, a beautiful six foot bong and be like, you know what, Paul, not today, man. I just got fired from work. How about how? I got you. I just got right there. Next thing you know, Paul's like, man, well, it's, now I got to get three staples, which is, which happens. Nonetheless, I do want to say Paul and his cousin reconciled. From what I gather, Paul was a good hang. Paul was a good vibe. I gotta say, there's a problem here. I've not met the cousin. I like Paul already. I like Paul. I've not met the cousin. Not met the cousin. But I'm gonna say, because I know Paul more than I do know his cousin, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with Paul. I'm gonna say it's none of it's not Paul's fault. I'll tell you that right here. And it's all under it's all water on the bridge by now. Every all is good. All is well that it swells well. You know what I'm talking about? Keep beating that cock. So. Having said that, because Paul does come from a, you know, I could tell he comes from a good cut. He comes from that, he comes from that nice lean cut. He comes from that, you know, he, 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 it's good seeds. He's good. So I'm going to buy, hence, therefore, I'm going to conclude that his cousin too is a good seed. But sometimes if you love each other, you might, you might do certain things. I don't recommend it, but what's important is that no matter what, or almost no matter what. Okay, there's certain cases where there is, you know, a matter what. But in most cases, it's important you come back to you and you, and you shift gears and you're like, man, let's let's go get a new bong and let's let's take a let's take a bowl to the dome and you'd be like, pass it. And he's like, no, you pass it. And he's like, let me have a puff and my turn. Next thing you know, smashing bongs over each other's heads again. Nonetheless, that won't happen. All I'm saying is it was beautiful to hear that they reconcile, that they're gooch, that the staples are now going to heal, and in time, they'll be able to laugh about it. Just like everybody does things that in the moment seem like, man, we can't laugh about, but later down the line, you'll be like, man, oh, it's good to reminisce and laugh about it. They'll do that some sometime down the line, I'm sure. So shout out to Paul. And an image maintained, of course, his name not Paul. And it hurts me not to say his name. Because now I know his name, 
I don't want to. You're like, what does it rhyme with? Oh, let's let's keep it. Let's keep it legit. So tempted to say what it rhymes with so that everybody kind of knows, but I'm not gonna because I'm a professional. God damn it. Fucking professional right here, motherfuckers. Welcome back, bitches. Log one. So shout out to Paul. Shout out to cousin Paul. And shout out to the Paul family. I will say this. Uh, it's This is going to bring us closer together. But again, what's also interesting about this story is that I heard I've seen another beautiful fellow. Very similar to Paul. Some might say it was Paul. And this is, a, so I'm going to assume that this isn't Paul. Because I can't, you know, you can meet a lot of people out there. I'm going to say this Paul is different than the Paul that I've met before. And that I had a cousin grab a bong specifically and smash it over his head. That happens to be a second happening now. And now I'm going to say, man, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck and it fucks like a duck and it sucks and squirts like a duck and it does anal stuff like a duck and if it just water rolls off its back after it's been fucked like a duck and it's taking a shower, but nonetheless, man, it's good to, you know, if it's shaving like a duck and if it's it's on its period like a duck and if it's like you know if it's giving birth like a duck <laughs> then we can all assume that this has got nothing to do with ducks and it's just about people and we don't need to we don't need to mix the two but that's just Paul and that's just the, you know so coincidence I did run into a fellow with a very similar story a while back but this just happened again and just say, let's do anything. Let's do anything. Coincidence. We'll just say coincidence, schmincidence. Put it to the side. Things happen. It's all zeros and ones at this point. We'll just say that it's all zeros and ones and shit happens and no need to think about things that are not related, but which it's freakishly similar though. Nonetheless, have you had an instance where you have something happen to you or somebody or encounter a situation down the line, something extremely similar happens. Has that ever happened to you? You're like, that's stuff, stuff, that's the sort of stories that we hear in tales. That's unheard of. That shit's unreal. I've never had a similar instance in my life that have it happen again and repeat itself. Well, oh, oh man, <laughs> I'm glad we're here now. Because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is not the only story that was very similar to another story that happened, but again, the, the, the beauty of this one, oh man, let's just, let's just, let's just simmer down for a second before we crank it back up, shall we? Wipe yourself off, please, go ahead. God, everybody's soaking now. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, this one, this one's a doozy, and man, oh man, it was weird. I'll tell you in a second. Let me get a sip of this for a second. Let's not rush into things. A little, a little bit of foreplay, shall we? A little bit of, you know, play with my tits first. Let's go. Let's, you know, uh, nibble on the tit for a second. For a second before we go skirt, skirt down south. Nibble on a tit, will ya? I'll say this, ladies and gentlemen, it was... Quite possibly a beautiful weekend, I will say this. It was a beautiful weekend, nonetheless. Wonderful. Work hard, play hard. Hard, hard. Oh, we're hard, we're playing hard, we're working, and we're wild, we're hard too. Hardly working, but we're hard. Stiff as a rock working, but taking some time to reflect on the hardness and the stiffness of the matter. And I'll tell you what, man, I went out for my leisurely walk that I normally do because your boy likes to stretch his legs and here in the, you know, if you're a Canuck, you know, the seasons come and go very quickly. So you better take advantage of the nice weather. Spring is here, summer is here. Walking. Walking. I'm walking. Tempted to say Phoenix at this point, walking Phoenix, but I'm not a Phoenix. I, I, I could be a phoenix. I could totally, oh, I'm totally a fucking phoenix, dude. Never mind, I take it back, but we already have the so many, oh, man. All right, fine, it's only one. 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 Joaquin. Phoenix. 
The point is, ladies and gentlemen, let's not get sidetracked. I was walking outside. I'm walking, doing my thing, smoking my little joint, having a sip of coffee. Actually, let's recap before I smoke my joint and before I get into it. See, I was just reminiscing about the many times that I go for walks and sip on my coffee and smoke a joint. But this was before the sipping on the coffee and the smoking at the joint. I went into the convenience store nearby to get myself a pack of smokes. I do my thing. Hello, hi there. How are you? Hiya there. How are you? Can I get a pack of the six? They know what I like. So, you know, you got what I want. Got what you need. Flash that plastic. A beep bop boop de doo in my pocket. Thank you very much. Getting that nicotine. So I'm getting it in the system. I bought it, I purchased it, I packed it, I put it in my pockets. About to walk out. Door to convenience store opens up. And a beautiful man, before we get into it, let's just say this. Before we get into what happens after the door opens, let's just say this. One of the things that you'll take away from this story is that you, hey man, bitches be throwing themselves at you sometimes. That's just what it is. When bitches be throwing themselves at you sometimes, that's just what it is. I don't control the, the rules and the laws of the physics of the, the, of the game, which is the enigma wrapped in a Twinkie bar. I don't ask questions like that, son. When some bitches be throwing themselves at you, you gotta roll with the, you gotta go with the situation. You got to just take it for what it is. Sometimes life gives you some things. You don't ask questions. Don't ask, don't tell. No one asked, no one told. No one told, no one got asked. What are you even talking about here? Life sometimes, remember that. If bitches be throwing themselves. If bitches be falling all over you sometimes, man. You, get, you just got to go with the flow sometimes, all I'm saying. But remember that. Let's get into it. Door opens. I've purchased my sick. Door opens, walks in, a beautiful 90-year-old lady. She trips and falls to the ground. Grandma. This beautiful grandma, 90 years old. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm really good at guessing age. I'm, an, I'm, good, I'm, I'm not an ageist. Or maybe I am. I am good at guessing age. I guess that makes me an ageist. I am an ageist. Fuck, I'm so good at being an ageist. 90 right on the fucking dot, dude. Just, oh, I could feel it in her bones because they were brittle. I almost cracked. She falls. I'm like, oh, no. And she fell to the floor, hit her knee. She got in, she got in kind of like a, she kind of got like a, in a fetal position. And I'm, and that's when, that's when everything shifts. That's when, you know, because, you know, your boy, Walks about life doing things on a regular basis, but when 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 you get called for duty, when duty calls, I'm ready to oh step up. Not immediately, but like you know, promptly, a good enough time. So she fell, and I said to her, there was a there was a couple of people in the convenience store, and there was the cashier as well. And I say, hey, everybody, let's all calm down. Let's all calm. Down. I saw the whole thing happen. Luckily. She didn't hit her head. That's the first. But I wanted to check. I get on the floor. I'm kneeling down beside her. Ma'am, are you okay? Did you bump your head? No, I don't think so. But my knee. And she and she slowly but gently rolled up her loose leggings. Because that's what grandmas wear. 90 years old. Bless her soul. The loosest of leggings. What once, t what, 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 what once fit extremely tight is now... Extremely loose, but nonetheless, still very good for what it is. It's a 90 year old bag of soft, squishy little, just a little grandma. I want to put in my fucking pocket and just carry her over to places, man. Just to, oh, sit on my shoulder, let's go for a walk. My heart just, you know, you plummets because it's like, oh, grandma, not my grandma, but feels like my grandma, grandma, no. Get on the floor, but I, but I kept it good, like, but I kept things. Control that I, I I didn't want to be like oh no are you hurt because you know our babies if they bump their head and you're like oh no are you okay baby and they start crying like a baby so I'm like I stayed cool calm and collected ma'am are you okay did you hit your head no but my knee and I'm like all right let's have a look catch your breath catch your breath when you're ready are you okay she's like okay I'm okay. 
I'm all right, sonny boy, I'm all right. And I'm like, just take a moment. We don't need to rush. Whenever you're ready, whenever you feel it. And I place my, you know, I put my sunglasses down. I put my cigarettes down. I put my phone down. Like, whenever you're ready. And I see the beautiful man that works the cash, at the cashier stands. Come over here. Man, whenever you're ready, we're going to help you up. We grabbed under her arms, squishy, typical grandma arms, classic grandma arms. Two, two to three types of arms for grandmas. There's the skinny, bony grandmas. There's the rare 90-year-old who just has been crossfitting her entire fucking life and she's looked like that since she's in her 50s, perhaps. Just like, how old are you? No one knows, but she can fucking, you know, she can do like a thousand sit-ups and... You know, every once in a while, squirt out an ounce of blood out of her vag, and you're like, is that even possible? She's like, oh, I can do it, you can do it too. You're like, what about menopause? She doesn't believe in it, Dad. She doesn't believe in that. It's just, it's nice. And then the third option is you get loose, you get squishy grandma. You get grandmas with grandma arms. You know what I'm talking about? Fucking the fat under the arms, you squish it. You fucking just grandma, you want to squish it, just, just, oh, and a little ball and put it in your pocket, and let us go. Come on. I'll take you places. You squishy ball of love, you girl. With your silver gray hair, with your many of wisdoms and stories. Uh, let's go have some pasta. I wanted to, man, oh man. I, I, you know, we took our time, took our time, helped her up. And she's like, I don't know if I can make it back home. And that's when I, that's when I'm like, oh, you are pulling on these heartstrings. And you are, but I'm like, hey. I was about to go for a walk. If you'd like, I can accompany you to your place. We could walk you home. Do you live nearby? She took her time, reevaluated the situation, took a look at the knee. It wasn't that bad. I think she did get bruised. That's what happened. Grandmas be bruising out there. They're bruisers. Fighters, but bruisers. Checked herself for a second. After a little while, she's like, you know what? I'm okay. I think I'll walk back. But it was just like one of those instances where, you know, you see somebody hurting, you see somebody, especially an elderly lady, it's just like, oh, oh, it's so, they're so vulnerable. They're so, oh, just want to, again, hop on my back. Let me just, you know, walk through a river with you. But uh, that was, that was just one instance. And I'm like, man, that, that it, it got me a little bit rattled up. It got me a little bit excited. It got me to, you know, but it gave me a chance to step up and be a service. And just be like, hey, everybody, no need to panic here. Everybody calm down. You know, yellow tape's going all around us. I am putting up pylons. I am blowing in a little whistle. I don't even carry whistles with me, but nonetheless, it appeared in my hand and I put it in my mouth. Toot toot. Everybody calm down. That's what I does. But it was just one instance. I'm like, man, that's... Gotta be careful out there, man. You gotta be careful. And I go, I'm like, all right. Helped a beautiful grandma. She's up on her feet, doing her thing. She's gonna walk back. I'm gonna go for my walk now. Put my put back my headphones, you know. Got my six, ready to light up. I do light up. I'm walking down the street. Maybe two minutes goes by. I'm walking. I'm walking. Maybe two minutes has passed from the instance of the grandma now tripping and falling into the store. A bus coming up Young Street. Pulls over, door opens, up, right there, right there, dude. Another lady falls right out of the bus, falls. The bus door opens, she plummets. Fucking planks, dude, planks right on the ground, right, right in front of me, right in front of me. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here, man? Again, it's all zeros and ones. It's all zeros and ones at this moment. And I'm just like, what the fuck going on here, man? Why me? Why now? Who's with the what, dude? And I'm just like, but it's okay. Once again, we'll ask those questions later. Now is, the, now is not the time to panic. Now is not the time to get this drop. Now is not the time to lose control. Now is the time to collect ourselves and help. You have this, this lit door or bus door opens, a leg plummets, lands again with her knee, and this time it's a it's a 
you know, again, because I'm an ageist, I would say she is probably, man, looking back at it, I want to say anywhere between 40 to 60. So I'm going to go, I want to say she's probably around 50. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the median of that shit. I want to say she's about 50. She's a newcomer, I could tell because she couldn't speak any English. Falls to the ground, starts making, you know, foreign noises. And just four beautiful foreign noises nonetheless. And that pulls another heart, you know, it's just tugging on me heartstrings right there. So it's, all right, falls to the ground, get down, she plummets right in front of me. I'm like the first person she encounters, looks up, I'm looking down, like, what the, you know? All right, I kneel down one second. All right, I've just done this. I'm getting good. Are you okay? She's not really responding. There's a beautiful man that comes from behind her. He seems to be distraught by the whole thing. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, all right, calm down, relax. The other fella, he was kind of, he was, he was alarmed. He was a little bit in shock. He's, he's trying to immediately help her up, immediately get under those arms and help. I'm like, all right, hey, hey there, fella. She took a significant fall let's let's relax before we get, like give her a second let her breathe and that's the thing i don't know much about fall. i didn't i didn't know that i knew so much about falling god i didn't know i was a falling expert until that shit happens because a lot of times i've seen in videos and in movies thank you movies thank you to the to visual mediums i've seen when people do take falls you don't need to necessarily get them back up that immediate instant just give them a second let them catch their breath this fellow was like oh, i just got you up i'm like let's calm down for a second Make sure she didn't hit her head or anything. You know, she's making no, yeah, just, you know, just again, getting into that fetal position, just, you know, everything's just noises. And, you know, it's just, you know, beep, bop, boop. She might, you know, trying to communicate, but can't, poor thing. And all of a sudden, you know, people are, you know, people are also exiting the bus. People are walking down and it's getting congested. People are gone, just like, everybody calm down, relax. Keep it cool, man. Been here before. A few minutes goes by, more people, you know, move out of the way. Another lady comes up and she asks what's going on. I'm like, bus door open. This beautiful lady fell out of the bus. This fellow's accompanying her for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Nonetheless... Let's, okay, ma'am, are you okay? Did you hit your head to the, did your head, did you, no, me, no, 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 hit, no, no, you know, just, and I'm trying to make sense, okay, your head, and I, again, happy right in front of me, I saw that she didn't hit her head, but I want to make sure that, you know, you want to just like, okay, let's, let's everybody calm down for a second, let's everybody relax, okay, you didn't hit your head, great, fantastic, but my knee, he, again, with enough English to convey knee, again, I'm like, again, knee issue, God. Going on, all right, then I see a bench right over there, right over there, you know, a couple of, couple of steps away. I'm like, all right, whenever you feel like you're ready, a few minutes has now gone by, people have moved away. Whenever you're ready, let's get you to that bench, settle you down for a second, see what, what's going on here. A few minutes goes by, she catches her breath, me and the dude that was behind her help her up. She walks slowly to the bench, sits down, and there's me, the gentleman that was behind her, and another lady who happened to be, you know, curious and kind enough to stick around and see what's going on. Now she's sitting down. She's like, oh, you know, beautiful lady who showed up. She's like, you should go to a hospital. I'm like, yeah, you should. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, because she had, a, she was limping and walking. She was limping and walking. Lady suggests that she should go to the hospital again. This lady doesn't speak a word of English. She's uncomfortable. She's in pain. And you can see, it's just, it's not a good day for this poor lady. All right. And we're just, we're just talking for a second. And she's wearing these black leggings and she's just sitting on the bench and we're all kind of like, you know, me, the lady and the other fellow are kind of debating, well, should she go? Should we call 911? All this, that. Now, as we're discussing this within the couple of seconds or minutes that she's now sat down, blood starts spewing out of her knee. Blood. <laughs> Gross. Blood starts spewing out of her knee, dude. <sighs> This was the, one of the grossest things I've ever seen in my life. And one of the grossest, I've never, because when, when you expect, but when you see blood immediately, all right, blood's blood, I've seen blood, blood's fine, I like blood. Sip, sip to the gang, let's see, you know, adrenochrome, this sh whatever, I don't care. I don't care how you do it, stay young, I don't care. 
All I'm saying is if I know there's going to be blood, if, if, I'll give you an example. Before, before we make love, if you're like, hey man, I'm on my period tonight. Are you cool with that? I'd be like, not only am I cool with that, I lo let's do this. The, 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 the bloodier, the merrier. I don't care. A couple of, couple of blankets. They can go in the wash later. You know, I don't care. Rub it all over me. Is there puss, in, is there puss on my cock? I don't care if it's bleeding. If you don't care, I don't care. If you don't, if you don't care, I don't care. It's all wet, it's all warm, feels good, it's lubricated. Sure, I smell a little bit of nickel in the air, but who cares? Who can't use a little bit of nickel fragrance in an aroma in and around their bedroom? That's exactly, right? So I don't have a problem with blood, but it's when between you don't know what blood is about to emerge is when you get caught off guard, it's like, you're gross. And so blood starts spewing out of her legging and it's, and it was weird, man. She had, she, I don't know what, the blood was thick. I've never seen blood like this. All right, fine, maybe I have. It, it, just, it looked like, you know, it was just, it was, it was thick blood. Blood is thick. When you don't see too much blood, you'd be surprised at how thick blood is. It's not, they do say blood is thicker than water and it really is because it was thick. It was thick. I don't think that's what they mean by it. But nonetheless, like, just, Talking about the, you know, the chemical compounds and the organic makeup of the liquid itself. It is thick, just thick liquid blood is spewing out of her knee. I'm like, oh, all right, let's call 911 now. Let us call 911. So we, you know, we stand with her and she's, she's just in agony and pain. She doesn't want to go, no, me no, go, I don't know. You know, it, it's, I, I get it. It's a whole, she doesn't want to hassle, it's a hassle for her. It's a... She doesn't, and you can tell it's one of those like you know. It's, but we're like, okay, let's call, let's call nine one one. Let's get you, you know, emergency services. So the lady calls nine one one. I'm standing with the fella and the lady. A few minutes goes by. I don't know what the deal was with the fella and the lady together because they didn't seem to be together. But he was nice enough to stick around. I don't know what. I don't know if everybody got. I don't know what happened. I don't know what. All I saw was the bus door opened up and this lady fell to the ground. But. Nonetheless, man, the other lady who was standing nearby, she called 911, ambulance eventually came, and she got taken care of. I would assume now, I don't know. I would assume, but that's, that's what, but that's, but that was a day, and again, combined with the whole Paul story, it was like, what are these little intricate moments of, you know, coincidences and just, you know, but weird, and I'm like, so I now start walking down the street. I continue after this happens. So I know, like, am I, you know, am I, have I been bestowed with, you know, am I, you know, uh, am I bestowed with some sort of responsibility of, am I, des am I designated, uh, you know, fallen bitches uh, assistance? Am I, am I, you know, is, is there like a, am I, because nobody told me this, you know, am I, is this moving forward going to be my thing? D did I get a new thing? I'm 34, I have enough, I have enough things. I have one thing that I love, which I'm pursuing with everything that I've got. So I don't really have time for many other things. Outside comedy, I don't really have time. It's, it's challenging and difficult for everybody to do whatever it is that there is. So you know what I mean? So once you got your self focused on, so I don't have to problems, but I'm like at the same rate, I'm a team player, I get it. If there's gonna be things that need to be, if there's gonna be bitches falling down and somebody's designated, you know, Fallen bitches, help. I'll be fallen bitches helper, dude. FBH, this guy, DBFBH, designated fallen bitches helper, right here. This guy, DBFH, designated fallen bitches hero. Just you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it, but it happened. So now I'm walking. The rest of the day, as I'm walking, I'm just like eyeing people, getting ready for them to fall. Another door opens from a store. This fellow's holding a door open for another fella, and this other fella exits the door. He's limping with his knee. I'm just like, fall, motherfucker, fall. You'll be surprised how fast I'll help you. you know, I'll be on top of it. I'm just waiting for you to fall now. But he didn't fall. He was just limping. He had a bad knee. He had a... But that's all I'm saying, man. Sometimes life throws at you certain scenarios, certain situations, and then you got to roll with it, man. And I did. I don't care who... I don't know how it got bestowed upon me that I'm now, you know, designated fallen bitches to help her, but I... Bitches want to be throwing themselves at you. You got to roll with it. I don't, you know, I don't ask questions. I'm not, I'm not an ageist. 
amazingly not strangely good at guessing age, but I'm not an ageist. You know, mommy in her 90s wants to take a fall and open up her heart and bank account as well. Let's go. I will get in there, dude. Ample amounts of loop. Am ample amounts of loop. I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know. I've never slept with a 90-year-old. I'm not even saying that this will lead to that. All I'm saying is the world is mysterious. You need to be surprised how quickly and fast things move sometimes. But I'll be, you know, the, so I'm, I'm, I'm now taking it upon myself. It's now burnt into the back of the noggin that this may be one of, one of your, you know, many other things. You might be a, fuck man, it just rung a bell and sound. I'm like, am I, am I good at first responding? Or, se or second or third responding? Maybe not first, but like, you know, am I good at responding? Maybe, maybe. Could I see myself? Clearing traffic with a vehicle that's got sirens equipped. Could I? Yes, I love sirens. I, I, you know, cop car. I will, you know, ambulance. Uh, you know, uh, fire trucks make me like I wouldn't want to operate that one. I will. I will work the. I will. I will honk honk. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to. It's just too much. The angles. It looks too. Uh, but unless unless there's like unless I know that I'm not gonna be like if I could if I could bump into a few items and not get because that's part of the job sometimes you gotta go through you know and if I if I smash a couple of cars around to help others in need of help and I know I'm not gonna get you know oh you smashed the Honda Civic I don't care dude I'm helping out bigger picture here I'm helping out I don't care I don't care that Jimmy can't get to work now I'm helping other people in a in a burning building. Big picture, burning building, Jimmy's car, insurance. I don't know. I don't know Jimmy. I know those people in the building. I don't know anybody to be honest with you, but that's that's just the that's just the nature of the job here, isn't it? In it, mate. So, I discovered something within myself, and I I do have it. I do. Yeah, it's one of those things that I've never. You know, if if I don't want to be that person. But I, it was just one of those things, hey man, if shit, you know, if, if somebody, if somebody needs it, the boy's there. So bitches want to be tripping and falling, I, I welcome it with open arms now. Now I would like to put this out that in terms of, I don't, I don't like to make quotas or like, you know, jot things down and say, but I, I did, they were elderlies, they were out of my, you know, jurisdiction in terms of, Next time, if it's going to happen, I prefer 21 to 49. 21 to 49 is my range right now. Ideally, if, a, you know, if she happens to fall and she's in her late, mid-20s, early, early 30, that'd be, you know what I'm talking about? Just she falls tit face in my mouth and doesn't injure a knee. I'm there. I am there, fall, vag first on my mouth. I'm there, I don't care. I'm bleeding from my match, from my match. I said badge, I wanted to say badge, but it came out of that. I'm bleeding from my badge, my badge is bleeding. This stress has made me call my badge my badge, you see? She talks like a copper from the 20s, what? The point is, I don't care. Bitches wanna throw themselves at your boy under the collects. But all I'm saying again, the I again I've helped the 80s and 90s and 50 year. I'm saying now I'm ready to, you know, let's you know what I'm talking about. Let's get a little bit of. But that's that's just life. So I'm not, you know, I'll be. I don't know. I, I don't, you know, don't fucking throw yourself off a balcony. Expect me to catch you unless you're like, unless you're like, uh, unless you're like a fucking, uh, unless you've been, unless you're like a Russian. Canadian ballerina who's just like finished the Olympics and you're you're weighing about 120 pounds maybe you're like five foot two hundred twenty pounds and you fucking you know you somersault yourself off a balcony and land perfectly in my arms without making a splash how does she do it she's an Olympian that's how and uh, I don't care how you got there man I don't care if you've been kicking bears and trees in the woods for your entire life but you're really good at somersaults and if you happen to make that you know leap off a balcony from the third floor into my arms. I don't care. I'm not going to ask questions as to why it happened, how it happened, who it happened to. 
Where is this all happening? What is going on here? I don't care. I'll be there. Designated fallen bitches helper. This guy right here. And that's when I said to myself, I don't care how many bitches fall from now on. I don't care. I will help as many as I can. That's when I told myself, I don't care how many bitches fall down. At one point or another, you learn in life, certain responsibilities are going to be stowed upon you. That you're not even, you didn't even sign up for this shit. But now it's it's one of those things. Loki, designated fallen bitches helper. DFBH, this guy right here. I didn't even know I had it in me. Apparently I do. Sip sip to the gag. But again, this is just a, it was just a matter of, you know, I'll leave it up to you. Have you had instances back to back happening to you in the same day or within a little bit of a gap and a you know a little bit of a time gap and the same similar situations happen? Well, why? And you're like, we're humans. Certain things are bound to happen. I'll be happy. Yes, but back to back to back to back to back. Huh? To back to back to back to back. Yeah, it was, it's, it's tragic. Also, it's tragic. I hate it when people fall and get injured and I'm, you know, I, I like, I, if we're being honest for a second, yeah, I'll, I'll help. I don't care. I will help. I don't, you know, it, it sucks. Obviously, it's tragic. Because because there are no cameras there. Because there are no cameras. There are no cameras. Like I'm sure there's CCTV, but I mean that would have great, that would have made a great viral moment for everyone. Wholesome fucking viral moment. As she's falling, I'm cracking a joke and helping her. Yeah, it's tragic. But big picture energy. Everybody's okay for the most part. I'll recover, I suppose. You know, I'm sure next time that some bitch falls down when I'm catching her. There will be plenty of cameras. We need more cameras in this operation. Patreon.com slash Rob Sadri is where you can help this operation get more cameras and be more ready, be more proactive. So when bitches be falling and this designated fallen bitches helper happens to be helping, it gets caught on camera. You know, with a good, not, not one of those fucking grainy cameras that they keep taking a space. Segway time, segway time, segway time. We're going to space again, hitting it from the back. Hitting it from the back. Who likes hitting it from the back? This guy likes hitting it from the back. Who likes taking it from the back? He always like giving it and taking it from the back. Who else likes to give it from the back and take it from? Who likes to hit it from the back? Talk about lunar tripping, baby. Who likes to hit it from the? Apparently, China. Congratulations, they are hitting it from the back. But also, congratulations to Team Humanity because we're now hitting it from the back. China has now landed on the dark side of the moon with with friggin' lunar landers. Lunar landers are now collecting dust from the back of that. And you know the back is dusty because no one's been back there apparently. Or we've been there a couple, we, we might, who knows what is going on with the moon. But again, some high res footage would definitely help. Some nice samples would help and show us more. We want more. Let's go to the moon. Because we've done it before and we can do it again because we've done it before. So let's do it again. Money's not an object, fam. Money is not an object. When we've got the space, because you know, and that's the thing, son. Now we're hurting it from our back, man. I hit the moon from the, that's, Intriguing, interesting, but also it is a little bit, you know, because as a global society, we are all one, but at times we do have our, we do have our, you know, nation states and clashes of the flags and the who owns the moon situation sort of thing. And I'm certainly not able to buy land here. Maybe I'll purchase something up there. That's not free to purchase. Well, where can I get a piece of land? It's like, you know, just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for what you ask? I don't know. The point is that China's hitting it from the back. I would like us to be hitting it from the back if Canada, because we got a nice arm that helps with hitting it from the side, the back, the front, stroking that shit up and down. Canada's got you. So, NASA, let's hit it from the back. Let's also hit it from the from the front, but from the side. 
and from the top too, because then it's like, let's do a 69 of the moon, because the moon likes it when you 69 and it's lunar tripping time, baby. So don't just be hitting it from the back, because that's, you know, it's a whole lot of stuff going on in the front too, a whole lot. I mean, the best stuff goes on in the front, I'll say this, the best stuff goes on in the front. That's what I'll say. But it's great, man. It's great. Because now we're going to have, you know, we, you know, there's already, you know, we, because it's good for like, you know, US went to the moon. We went to the moon. So, you know, there's going to be burgers already on the moon, which is nice. Because we've been to the moon. And that's why we're going to go back again. Because we've been there before. Ain't nothing stopping us from going on the moon now. We should be going any day now. Any day. Today might be the day. Might be tomorrow. Might be 10 to 10 to 5. Might be in six years from now. But we're gonna go on the moon now, you hear? All I'm saying is I'm happy that we got burgers in the front. And got that Chinese in the back, son. Lo mein time. It's chow time. Let us eat from the front and the back. I want us to be drilling that shit. I want us to be building, you know, domes underground drilling so, so we can make a hideout in case, you know, craters and asteroids be flinging off the moon and all that shit. Because, you know, look at the, look at the surface. A lot of craters and... A lot of objects whizzing by, so you want to get underground quickly ASAP for protection, to protect your parts. So all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, is that we're in it together. Uh, let us see the bigger picture and put our differences aside and, and to come together, realizing that we all enjoy tits and ass at the end of the day. That's something that's happening. Uh, you know, uh, what else is happening? I did recently hear, I believe it was a man in somewhere in the US. I don't remember the place to be honest with you at this moment. I wanna say either Idaho or maybe Iowa. It doesn't matter, I'm sure of it. It was in the US. A beautiful man was outside doing his thing. Bullets came with him by, flying by, and he's about to catch some strays when all of a sudden he got saved from a bullet via necklace. Nicholas saved us uh, life, you could say. I'm talking about that ice, ice, baby. Bling, bling. It's not just for the visuals no more. Introducing protective gear for the everyday man and woman out there. Are you wondering how to protect yourself against cuts, paper cuts, getting grazed by bullets? Get jeweled up. Get iced out. I heard this story and I said, you know what? If a single Cuban link can save you from stray bullets. Imagine a whole body suit made of Cuban links and diamonds, which is why we need to raise a lot of money so that everybody could be decked out in nothing but ice. I want everybody out there, man, woman, child, adolescent, young adult, the elderly, the ones that are about to kick it, I don't care until you kick it, I want you to be iced out in nothing but the hardest of metals, which is gold. Okay, fine, that's a soft metal, but like another metal that's like still very hard, but also fashionable to silver? We could find something harder than titanium. Platinum, motherfucker, and then we put diamonds on. I want everybody walking around in diamond suits is essentially what I'm trying. Because imagine you go about life, Two options. Option one, you're walking about with your meat suit in the nude. Oh, catching catching paper cuts. Catching paper cuts on your eyelids. Catching paper cuts on the tip of your cock. How many times does that happen? When you're trying to letter, when you're trying to write a letter, holding a cock, which is holding a pen. And next thing you know, oh, paper cut on the on the tip of my cock. Or, or you know, you're you're trying to you're trying to oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna I'm gonna use these chopsticks. So I'm gonna put these chopsticks in my badge and eat some Chinese food. Splinter right in your, oh, that hurts. Again, this could all be, that's option one. That's you with your meat bod walking about like we're fucking 
barbarians out here, or, or we say goodbye to the backwards way of living, to the, to the days where humans were just walking about with cotton, polyester, a little bit of shamu, a little bit of shamwow, a little bit of just, you know, whatever else, fabrics and jeans and pleathers and leathers and cashmere and, you know, silk. You're basically dressed in spider jizz, silk. Or you could be stepping into the future, decked out in jewelry, looking flashy as fuck, making everybody go blind. But if everybody's going blind, then nobody's going blind. Because, okay, then if everybody's blind, then who cares about sight then? There it is. But no more paper cuts. No more, uh, I'm, I'm, cutting, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting some meat in the kitchen. Oops, there goes, my, there goes the tip of my index finger. No, no more. Those days are gone in the past. And I don't even see it anymore, man. No more lifting at the gym and getting calluses on the palm of your hands. Why? Because your entire body is covered with diamonds. Feel, feel it. Oh, now you're picking up barbells and the diamonds are grinding up against the barbell and it's just like making a weird noise and there's like sparks flying. But you look flashy. No one can actually see what's underneath your beautiful suit. But you know deep down inside that you're doing it for, for health, not to show it off anyway. So the point is, but like put it out every once in a while, it's nice to see it too, is all I'm saying. Let's squat together. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that if one single necklace could save a life, imagine how many lives could be saved with entire bodies covered in them. Maybe that's what the elongated necks in the sub-Saharan Africa region, maybe that's what they were all about. Maybe we looked at it as like jewelry and you know, they say it's an extension of the neck and it's for you, but maybe they wanted to protect that neck, protect your neck. That's the, that's maybe that's, we should bring back rings for the neck. I want rings on everybody's necks. I don't want anybody being able to sit comfortably or fall asleep because comfort is the next door neighbor to like disease and Shit. So before you get soft, ring it up. I'll give you a second. Ring it up. But don't come crying here. I got a paper cut on my neck. Warned you already. Lessons learned. Jewelry is not just for aesthetics, it saves lives. Imagine, you know, a, a cock ring doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be tight and hold you stiff for 75 hours. It could just be for, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going into the depths of the earth, man. I'm going to be, you know, excavating a site. Wear a cock ring that covers the entire shaft. How many times have men gone into the shaft drilling holes and then they get tired and let go of the drill? Oh my God, the drill is on my cock. And there you go. There's your cock just fucking like, ah, ah, run off to the side because you hit it with a drill. So protect yourself. And it's good too, because now we're like 3D printing diamonds. It doesn't have to be real diamonds. I mean, we did, not that they're not real, they're real. They're just as real and just as good. And women like them just the same. Remember that. The point of this is that, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of things going on. That's, that's the point of this. It's the fucking point of this. It's that we're having fun. That's what this is all about. What else is going on in and around the world? Uh, speaking of secret meetings... Speaking of secret societies and secret meetings and behind closed door meetings, segue, skirt, 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 skirt. Uh, the Build-A-Bear group was recently holding their 2024 meeting, I believe somewhere in Spain, behind closed doors. That's right, the Build-A-Bear group, a uh, secretive group that's been running around for about seven years, very similar to the World Economic Forum, but I believe it predates the World Economic Forum, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, what is this meeting? It's a meeting of, they, it's, it's what, what you read is that they're elites, but the, that word is being used extremely loosely in this. And the Build-A-Bear is about people who love bears and building and their group, 
there's hence the name Build-A-Bear Group. Maybe this, maybe is this group is just a bunch of gay dudes, which is completely fine. If gay dudes want to get together, build bears in a group and call themselves the Build-A-Bear Group in secret, build stuffed bears. I don't care. I'm not judging. Why is it in secret? I don't know why they do it in secret. I don't know why nobody can go inside and see what's going on. Who goes to these meetings, the Build-A-Bear meetings, you know, uh, heads of banking, big banking goes to these meetings, big tech, heads of big tech, some heads of big tech go to, go to these meetings. Uh, some, some people in media, in legacy media, as we call it now, old school media, as we call it now. Some people in old school media get it. Some people in politics, you know, names that most of us are not familiar with, some names that we are familiar with, but other names that we're most of the times not familiar with. They go in there and this, they discuss things. And on this year's agenda, some of the things that they were discussing at Build-A-Bear Group was, uh, yes, obviously there was the building of the bears, who brings the outfits of the bears, who is in charge of bringing the stuffing, what are we stuffing the bears with? Are bears just, again, a metaphor for masked up sexual activities, potentially? Is there no teddy bears involved in this beating, yet we've continued to call it Build-A-Bear? It does, you know, draw attention in a whole completely different direction, which is nice. I could see why you'd call it a Build-A-Bear meeting. So I don't know, to be honest with you. I believe some of the things that they were discussing was uh, artificial intelligence, war, uh, potentially, you know, autonomous vehicles, drones, money, how to make more money, and they've been doing it. And so again, it's, it, I, I, I feel good about this because of this, this group and many groups similar to it, you know, they've been getting together behind closed doors and discussing very important things. And again, they're in big bank, big government, big media, big corporations. And they get in behind closed doors and they have meetings on how to make the world go round and round and round and round. So I, I think from the general sense that I get is that there's big money to be made with big war. So the technology that's being developed by these companies, yes, it's great to make VR and AR and make games and video, but that shit doesn't make as much money as war does. So we learned and we will continue to learn that when there's more war going on, we can make a lot more money by distributing weapons systems. And it's cool because the, and the beautiful thing about the wars is that you get to see your large weapons, which are basically toys, really, really toys. If we could just get a sense if we could realistically look at it, they're just toys for adults that make other adults bleed and if we're going to be squeamish about a little blood and hundreds of thousands of lives being lost on a daily basis then pish posh i don't even know what we're doing here fella the point of this is to make money and it, it brings a lot of money and they discussed the middle east as well and just ongoing war between the ukraine and russia and again probably israel and palestine and the rest of the world in it and this again, these sorts of meetings have been going around for at least 70 years. And you'd think that by 70 years, if their intention was to ever stop these things from happening, they'd get a little bit better at it. But it seems like that's not the intention. But it might be. I might be way off. It might be. It's just they're not good at it. It might be that's their intention, but they're just not good at that. But that's the thing. But outside of trying to stop the wars, we can at least agree upon the amount of money that can get created from again. Investing in uh, infrastructure and then blowing up the infrastructure and then, and then getting contracts to rebuild the infrastructure and also, uh, you know, bringing artificial intelligence, replacing people with robots and introducing some sort of digital currency and some sort of biometrics going on so that we can all just be, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot, It's good for big business and big tech, but that's just what I get from it. I'm not quite sure because, again, it's behind closed doors. I would love to be in a secret meeting, but 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 I do it with the podcast, of course. But I would like us to go and be a part of this secret meeting. If not, can we make our own secret meetings where we discuss, you know, things 
I'm not going to say what because they're secret, obviously, and, it's, it's, and if it's for the better, if, 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 if it's for the betterment of everyone, then it should be done in secret because that's how you get things done with secrecy. If it's one thing that we've learned, what holds this planet moving forward? Secrecy. That's the way. Yes. Yes. At the end of the day, yes. Nice. Lessons learned. Good. No, but honestly, I'm sure these lizards have our best intentions at heart. I am sure that, okay, maybe not our best intent, but their own best intentions at heart, at least. They know that there's money to be made. At least we can all know that the most important thing is to make a lot of money, dude. That's the most important. So let's do it together. I'm, I'm excited. Totally excited about this shit right here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been, you know, I mean, we're having fun. I didn't even realize once you have so much fun, sometimes things get, you know, things you, you get going. And when things get going, you get going with it. I just want to thank you and say, Wagwan, Bomba Clot, Batty Boys and Batty Girls, where can you find them videos? Once again, every Wednesday and Friday, drop down the Instagrams, on the YouTubes, follow me there, subscribe on the YouTube channel so you get the full length videos, yeah? Check out patreon.com slash robsadri if you'd like to fiscally, financially support the show so see it grow before your eyes. Every teen Irie, I'll be back here again on Friday. Peace.